many times have we told ourselves, I'll do it tomorrow, when you have such a fun time scrolling on social media and then reminder pops up that you need to go to the gym, but you're not really feeling it. So, you know, I'll do it tomorrow. Or when you're enjoying a little TV show and snacking and then you remember that you need to practice a guitar or learn French or do something that you scheduled for yourself but then you're like oh no i'm not really feeling like it right now you know i'll do it tomorrow but we don't only postpone things for tomorrow we also postpone things for a vague when oh i'll wear this dress when i'll feel better or when i lose 10 pounds or when i will have a heels that could match this dress or when I will have a partner so he could appreciate this dress or when I will go out or when I will travel to another country I'm just gonna say that it should really say here oh I'm gonna be happy when I'm gonna reach that amount of salary I will be happy when I will lose that weight I will be happy when I will find a partner I will be happy when I will move out we all have done it we all at one point of our life told ourselves, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, or told ourselves, no, I'll do this when I will be this, or when I will be there, or when I will get materialistic things, I will be happy. I was also stuck in that mindset, I wouldn't allow myself to be happy, I would put on the work, I would do all the things I needed to do, which I thought that I need to do, and I was like, okay, I just need to escape this moment in my life right now, and this chapter in my life, because when I will escape this, when I'm gonna get out of this chapter in my life, I'm gonna be so happy because everything will be so different and I 100% will be happy. And then it never happened. And also this topic of money can buy happiness or money cannot buy happiness is so I don't know, popular and so many people have different opinions, but can you actually remember what you bought like 10 years ago, which still makes you happy? and it's not a dog, what? I cannot. Like, it could bring me some use, it could be useful, I could feel satisfaction using this, like for example, this camera or something like that, but I don't look at it and like, oh my God, I'm so happy, this, this thing makes me so happy. No, being grateful for having, for example, camera is one thing, but being happy is another. Happiness and being grateful are two different things. Also, being grateful leads to happiness it's a very complex thing, but in my opinion, money cannot buy happiness. Money can open up opportunities that can therefore make you happy. And we also have that at least one piece of clothing that we're not wearing and saving for a special occasion because it's too pretty or too delicate or too, I don't know, bright or whatever. And we're just saving it for a special occasion. And we tell ourselves, I will wear this when Dot, dot, dot. Or I will go to the gym when I won't be so busy with work. Or I will learn to play guitar when I finish school. And then you're like, okay, I will learn to play a guitar professionally when I will finish college. Okay, I will learn how to play guitar when I get the job and I will have stability in my life. Okay. I will learn to play guitar when I will have family and kids and stability and everything like that and I just be in an amazing place in my life and I will just learn to play guitar. And then, oh, I will learn to play the guitar but when my kids will grow up and I could have time for myself. And then you're like, mm, maybe I'm too old to learn to play guitar. And that is with everything. It doesn't have to be playing on guitar or singing or pursuing the career that you want or putting on that dress it could be anything and we so often use that I will do this when I will blah 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 but what if that perfect moment never comes you're never gonna get your perfect body you're never gonna meet a perfect partner you're never gonna meet a perfect friend or will be in perfect place in your life you'll never have that because none of us are perfect and if you're looking at someone and you're like oh my god when i will have the life they have this perfect life i will do this this and that and i will be finally be happy and i will finally do this 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 nothing is perfect instead of thinking i will for example learn to play guitar when 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 i will be in the perfect moment in my life 
why not think like I will learn to play guitar now. Now is good enough time. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. I will wear that dress that I'm not wearing, not because I'm perfect, but because it makes me happy. I'm good enough to wear that dress or any dress for that matter. I'm good enough to start being happy right now and not waiting for someone to fulfill me because if I'm not happy alone, doesn't matter what guy is gonna come in into my life, he's not gonna make me happy because I couldn't be happy by myself. If you're gonna be waiting to be a perfect you, you will never become her or him because the perfect you also has goals and has insecurities and has things like that and the perfect you would actually wear that dress doesn't matter if she thinks she has perfect weight or perfect body or not the perfect you would start being happy right now and not wait for someone to come in and you know make her happy perfect you would start doesn't matter how small or how big just start and here's some three things you could do just actionable things you can do i wrote them down because i feel so fancy writing things down first one is just do it unperfectly as i said it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be good enough or just enough or just good just do it second one is just take a tiny step even the tiniest tiny step if you want to write a book just set a timer and write for three minutes if you're not feeling it don't continue writing if you are lazy and you don't want to go to the gym just put on your workout clothes go to the gym but don't actually go into the gym or just go into the gym stand there and go home at least you got to the gym you don't have to work out or just walk on a treadmill for three minutes and then go home just a tiny tiny step it doesn't have to be something huge you don't have to run half marathon go on treadmill and just walk go around your house or your block take a tiny step because then there's a possibility when you for example go on a treadmill and you found a good podcast or music then you're gonna stay on a treadmill a little longer or if you start writing you have that creativity kick in and you're like, okay, I, I know what I'm gonna do next and this and this and you go into creative flow and so on and so forth. Because if you're not gonna start, it's harder to continue. But if you're gonna start, it's easier to continue. Yeah, sometimes you're gonna just set three minute timer and then you're like, okay, I'm not feeling it still. That's, that's okay, at least you tried. That is more than doing just nothing. And third one is celebrate your small wins. It means that if you went to the gym, even for three minutes, that is better than not going at all. Because if we're gonna imagine our to-do list, which is very easy, for example, close your eyes right now and imagine your to-do list. What are three things that you need to do which are so important? What is that one thing that is on the top of your list? You can open up your eyes now. Did you imagine that? Did you, I mean, you had no trouble imagining that because everyone has to-do list. It doesn't matter if it's written down or not written down. We have it. We have things we need to get done throughout the day. But again, close your eyes and imagine want list. What is something you can do to relax, to, I don't know, take time for yourself? What are some things on your want list? Open up your eyes. When I encountered TED Talk that had this exercise, when I closed my eyes the second time, my want list was to take a nap. Only that thing came into my head. And then I remembered my to-do list and my want list and I understood that I don't ever write the things I want to do throughout the day in my to-do list. Like I never write down like, take a nap, I don't. Because I have this mindset or thing in my head that I think like, oh, if I'm gonna take a nap, that means I'm behind, I'm not productive, blah, 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 blah. Or if I'm gonna, in the middle of the day, just take time for myself, I'm not gonna be as productive and blah, 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 blah. But to-do list is so important for us that we forget about want list, the things that we, we actually want, the things that we actually need to do in order to stay sane. And when we prioritize this to-do list over want list and need list, we burn out. 
So in order not to burn out, just put yourself first. If you need to take a rest, do it. If you need to take a nap, do it. If you need to wind down in the middle of the day, do it. But also, if you're not feeling like going to the gym, do it. Even for two minutes. If you're not feeling like working out, do it. Just two minutes. If you're not feeling like go practicing the guitar or learning French or doing anything that you promised yourself you would, just do it for two minutes. Even if you need to wake up at five o'clock in the morning and you're just like, oh my god, I don't want to do it. Just do it for two minutes. Stay awake for two minutes. And then just go back to sleep. Because chances are, 90% of time, you're gonna stick to that thing and you're gonna do it. Okay, that's all I have for you for today. Thank you for watching this video. And see you in the next week or in a few seconds if you want to watch any of my videos. Love you. Bye.